Salam alaikum. And welcome back to the final part of Living the Life tonight. And of course, it's Money Monday with co-founder of Islamic Finance Guru, Ibrahim Khan, who's also a private investor and joins us tonight to tell us about investing overseas. Ibrahim, salam alaikum. Welcome to Living the Life. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have, have you had a great weekend? Were you, were you in, the, in the garden this weekend? Um, what was I doing? I think I was shopping mainly. <laughs> <laughs> online, online. Well, listen, tell us, I mean, if, if I want to, well, why do people want to invest internationally in the first place? I think that the big driver is that right now, um, yields are very, very low across um, the Western world. Um, and also from a rental perspective, they've taken a pounding, stock markets are leveling out. So people are looking to go elsewhere. And where, where should I be looking? What, what are the different platforms and where I can try and invest abroad? The first bucket is property, um, because that's nice and safe generally, because you've got some kind of asset backing. Because with stock markets, you can diversify across a range of different um, stocks. And also you can, um, you can start you know, making sure that you're going into investments and companies that are relatively large scale. Any list of countries that I should be looking at? So I think the, um, the countries that should be looked at are the companies that are expanding quite rapidly. And the kind of countries that I think are interesting, I mean, I, I think you should always do your due diligence and obviously each country is massive, right? But countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Malaysia, uh, Indonesia, uh, even the Middle East, all of these countries have uh, key things that, that unite them all. And how do I make sure it's all legit? Because, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't exist. So I, there's, a, there's a few different things that you can do. Apologies, give me a second. No, no, you're, it's good. We know you're live, we're at home, family's running around. Brilliant. They certainly are. They certainly are. It's that time, isn't it? The time of the day. Looking at these kind of investments, where should people yeah. be going? So, uh, inshallah, we'll cover um, investing in Pakistan in particular in a lot more detail, inshallah, in the coming weeks. Um, so I, I advise people to sign up to the mailing list and you can uh, find out when we do that. Brilliant. Uh, and Pakistan's growing. You've got Gwadar coming up, the, the new kind of Dubai. 100%. I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, cleanliness that's been introduced by the new government, which has led to a lot of the uh, you know a lot of safety in the in the investments. What's our topic next week? What are we thinking of looking at next week? We could, I mean, we could continue talking about uh, international investments, or perhaps we can have a brainstorm uh, during the week and come up with something. Inshallah. Well, Jazakallah khair. We'll let you get on with the the family chores of the day. Inshallah. I will salam to you and your family. Jazakallah khair for your time. Wa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Absolutely.